Welcome to M&A Modeling for Renewable Energy course. This course will provide participants with an in-depth understanding of the merger and acquisition process with focus on the renewable energy sector, covering the transaction analysis, accounting, due diligence, and deal structure. Participants will learn the key components of M&A financial model. The course is divided into three main parts, each covering different aspects of M&A modeling. The first part of the course provides an overview of the M&A process, with focus on deal analysis, deal synergies, premium analysis, deal structures, and deal currency. Participants will learn about the various aspects of the M&A process, such as the negotiation and valuation. They will also gain insights into M&A deal structures and the use of different deal currencies. M&A accounting lessons will include the critical concepts of consolidation and goodwill accounting. Goodwill accounting is essential when determining the value of intangible assets acquired in an M&A deal, while consolidation accounting involves combining the financial statements of the merging entities. The course also delves into M&A structuring, specifically the differences between stock and asset sales structures and their implications for financial modeling. Participants will learn about the tax implications of each type of structure and how these affect the valuation of the deal. Renewable energy due diligence and structuring is another essential topic covered in the first part of the course. Participants will learn about the key issues in renewable energy projects and important questions that need to be asked and answered when conducting a due diligence. The second part of the course focuses on EPS accretion and dilution analysis and constructing a short-form M&A financial model. Participants will learn how to perform an accretion dilution analysis based on the pro forma balance sheet of the combined entity. This analysis helps determine whether the deal is expected to be accretive, which means an increase in earnings per share, or dilutive, which means a decrease in earnings per share for the acquiring company's shareholders. The short-term financial model is typically built at investment banks for a purpose of creating investment pitches for companies' executives. It helps in estimating the impact of the M&A deal on key financial metrics such as revenue, EBITDA, net income, and EPS accretion or dilution and it serves as a crucial tool in the decision-making process for both the acquirer and the target company. In addition, the short-form financial model allows to quickly assess the impact of the deal on credit stability of the acquiring company. The third and final part of the course involves building a long-form M&A financial model. The case study revolves around a traditional power utility company considering the acquisition of an operating company with multiple renewable energy projects. Participants will learn how to construct a comprehensive M&A financial model that captures the complexities of the deal, including the target company's renewable energy project portfolio, transaction and financing structures, synergies, and valuation. Key issues such as sizing debt refinancing for renewable energy projects acquisition, impact of the deal on credit stats, IRR, and M&A valuation will also be covered. In the third part of the course, the initial step involves constructing separate financial models for both the acquirer and the target company. Once the financial projections for each entity are established, the next phase involves creating an operating model for the combined company. This model will incorporate pro forma financial statements, providing a comprehensive view of the merged entity's financial performance. In this part, complex refinancing terms are introduced into the model such as multiple debt tranches, designed to replace the target's existing debt. Participants will learn how to size these tranches, taking into account their different terms. The pro forma financial statements will also include goodwill analysis, a common element in financial models for M&A transactions. To construct the financial statements, the sources and uses of funds calculations will be integrated into the model. To address circularities in the model related to debt sizing, a standard circuit breaker macro will be implemented. Subsequently, an earnings per share accretion dilution analysis and valuation analysis will be conducted, encompassing internal rate of return calculations and value creation assessment. Finally, a deal summary worksheet will be created to highlight the most critical aspects of the transaction, such as deal IRR and valuation, sources and uses of funds, EPS accretion and dilution, credit statistics, and other pertinent details. By the end of this course, you'll be able to build a complex, real-life M&A financial model for acquisition of wind and solar projects, and you'll acquire the skills necessary to analyze, structure, and execute deals in the renewable energy sector.